Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to attend the session about the Cyborg Project Update. Uh, I'm Jinghua, and my English name is Coco. And I'm here in the representative of the former PTL Howard Huang and the new PTL Li Liu, uh, since Li can't make it to Berlin. And here's the agenda. Uh, since Cyborg was a very new uh, project, uh, we will, I will first uh, introduce its background, and then we will take a look at Cyborg's journey and its achievements in the past two years. Next, uh, we, uh, I will focus on the uh, rocket release features and the plane uh, in stain release. And the uh, last part is just uh, some ideas uh, which elaborate uh, why Cyborg will why uh, Cyborg will continue to be of value uh, into the future. And, and about the history of Cyborg, we start from the technical requirements, but later we found uh, they are bigger scope, uh, like in public cloud and HPC. And we first named this project uh, Nomad uh, from the upstream discussion, and then change the name into Cyborg and start our implementation. Another aspect why we need Cyborg may be the common errors of the domain specific architecture. Uh, since, uh, since most law can hardly be followed in the future to achieve higher efficiency and performance uh, on computer storage and network areas, domain specific hardware will be highly demanded. And the examples are like GPU, NPU, FPGA. And the NPU stands for the neural network processors, which is used uh, in machine learning. But DSA is facing the fragmentation problems. It's really hard to manage due to, uh, due to the difference, of the, uh, uh, difference in its architecture. And the Cyborg is here to help and that's why we started our journey on acceleration management. And it was Howard Huang uh, at the first uh, 10 months uh, who started this comp um, project. And then Russia and Justin joined in the next eight months. Uh, they uh, built the initial architecture for a uh, cyborg project. And uh, in the and uh, in the last uh, uh, one years, uh, the, growing, uh, the numbers of the contributors have been growing so fast, you can just get a number. Yes, tw uh, 36, the contributors. Um, it's really hard to believe, right? And we think the number will keep growing. And this, uh, these contributors uh, they are from many different companies like Huawei, Intel, Lenovo, Nine Cloud, and so on. And uh, there are many joint efforts uh, which came from many other companies like the NVIDIA and uh, iFlat Tech. Uh, they really gave us advice on how Cyborg can be used in delicate usage scenarios. Um, In dedicated, I'm sorry. <laughs> also, there are a growing maturity of our project. Um, by this by this September, we we have nearly twenty thousand of IOCs. And these efforts from the upstream and in industry all show the evolution of the cyborg architecture. Right now we have the uh, we have the DB conductor API, which is placed on the controller node, and the agent and the different types of vendor drivers are placed in, uh, in compute node. Also, uh, we, we support FPGA programming and the resources qu quota. Besides, in order to interact with um, Nova and other projects, uh, we also add OSACC library and the Python client. And that's 
uh, what you saw in the, in the right is the, our new NIST architecture. And in the rocket release, uh, they, apply, they apply excess and uh, quota control over resources. And for the driver, um, they work with va various van vendors to, stand to standardize APIs for their heterogeneous gen resources. And besides, what's worth to mention is that um, you can use our FPGA uh, APIs to program the Intel FPGA. And, uh, for the, uh, and for the interactions, we provide uh, the Python client Python client for the users and other projects. And also we discussed with, the, uh, uh, with our team on scheduling procedures of VMs after uh, using the sidewalk. And in stay release, uh, most uh, important thing we are going to do, I think, is, uh, is to make sidewalk functional with VM boots. Uh, we have discussed uh, with Nova team, yeah, uh, in Denver PTG and uh, make an agreement on how Cyborg uh, interact with Nova. To do this, we first, uh, uh, we first add new concepts and uh, features, which is called ARQs and uh, device profile. The ARQ stands for accelerator record. An ARQ object is used to encapsulate the assignment, the assignment requirements of an accelerator to an instance. And the device profile is used to specify users' needs for different kinds of accelerators. Um, to support a VM with required accelerators, uh, users must specify the device profile and the novel flavor at the same time. And besides, we need to add the OSACC library. The OSACC library is similar to OS Brick, and uh, which provide an abstraction way to attach accelerators. And uh, we need also to implement the DB schema for the ARQs and the device profile as well. And for the drivers, we are going to expand different vendor drivers like Xenix FPGA, Huawei NPU, and the RISC, uh, RISC-V driver. And if time is enough, we will try to propose the ML2 plugin, um, probably named the uh, probably named the networking cyborg, and add notification support in cyborg. By doing this. Uh, SmartNIC may be managed via a cyborg and used by Neutron. Apart from the OpenStack integration, they plan to integrate Kubernetes as well. And to do this, we need to first align the, our data model with the device plugin uh, interface. And through the, uh, and through the DPI, uh, Kubernetes, which is based on Kubernetes master. Uh, through the DPI plugin, um, the Kubernetes master can talk to Cyborg so as to manage accelerators. So uh, I've been talking about uh, what Cyborg, uh, what Cyborg done at, uh, pro what Cyborg project done at, uh, in the past, and so what about the future? Uh, why we keep working and put on our enthusiasm on cyborg project? I think that maybe uh, they believe in some, some of the future-proof ideas. And the first one is that we believe um, the, uh, they believe we believe that, that AI will got involved maybe in most of the life areas, and we really need a full stake, full stake hardware and soft software. Uh, yeah, full stake software and hardware, and uh, from the from the bottom to the top, there are uh, DSA hardware, uh, tool chain application framework, and high level applications. 
And the TensorFlow, as you know, is in the application from frameworks uh, layer. And what about, and, and, this, and we believe that the, in the tool chain layer, that is uh, where Cyborg can help. And the Cyborg uh, can help to do the resource management or scheduling of the different DSA hardware. And the second one is that the acceleration centric computing, which is, an, uh, which is another view of our data center computer. And the, uh, Microsoft uh, proposed the understanding of a new data center computer. And uh, as you can see in the, uh, in the center, in the middle of the, this framework is FPGA uh, rather than CPU. And uh, which is uh, the FPG is responsible for the uh, directing workloads of the traffic. And then we believe that not only FPGA, but also the general heterogeneous uh, hardware can be uh, used in, the, uh, in, the, in this center. And that will uh, bring another needs uh, for Cyborg. Yes, I finished. Thank you all. <laughs> so, if anyone has questions about Cyborg, uh, am I talking too fast? <laughs> oh, please. One question. You said uh, in the next release, in the Sign release, you want to focus on, on Nova interaction. Yeah. Uh, in Rocket, we haven't uh, finished the integration with Nova, yes. And, but we, we are trying to get that done in the state release. Yes. And if you want to know more details about how to interact with Nova, we have specs in our website, as well as in, I think, the Nova website, yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, can you provide a bit more info about uh, what are you planning for the cyborg networking memory system? Like you said, initially you are planning some new configuration with cyborg. Yeah. Can you elaborate on, on, that, on that topic? Oh, you know, let me see. Uh, you mean this slide? Uh, right now, in Neutron, uh, it can manage the uh, it can manage Smartic uh, via uh, like the SRV agent. Um, but the, uh, but the Smartic uh, Smartic uh, we do find it have some problems like if we uh, if you use it, you have to, um, you have to record uh, what, um, what, what, v what VFs you have, you have used and what others may not use. You have to record this. And, um, and we find that the cyborg can do, I mean, cyborg can do this result. Oh, new function. Um, it, it, it was just, uh, uh, we, pro we proposed this uh, like integration plane in the Denver PTG, and it was just, uh, you know, just uh, not, maybe not that mature at this moment, so I don't taste. Yeah, we do have spec. Yeah. We we have spec, uh, but that wasn't done at this moment. I think there will be a road in stain release.
And I think if you are much interested in these questions, you can refer, you can refer to Sundar and his work on, on it. His work on the proposal of uh, how, uh, how cyborg interact with, uh, with neutral. Anyone else? <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for attending our session. <laughs>